Hi, this is Terry. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Now I'm on a mission to improve the health of my heart. I then cheated y'all yesterday. That was such a short video. I saw right. Sometimes you need a break from me. It's good to have a break from me, y'all. A good thing. Anyway, hey. So today's Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Friday. I'm happy it's Friday. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to be making some meat this weekend. I'm going to have to pull everything out of the freezer tomorrow night. Um, yeah, like because we're going to do 80-20 ground beef. I told you all this yesterday, but it's all right. You can hear it again. Um, we'll do some 80-20 and some chicken. So um, I'm going to shift. I finished, I'll finish. i finish up my last of the 73%. And... Um, I don't know how many days. Let me go see how much we have left. If we're going to talk, let's have all the facts. Hang on. Okay, so we have nine days left. So let's see. We're looking at. I knew I smacked my. I, I This finger has been a little sore like when I touch it. And look, guys. It's, it's got a little bruise. It needs a kiss. It just needs a little kissy kiss. Whenever I was a kid, mom used to. We'd hurt ourselves. And mom would tell us to kiss it. You know how hard it is? When you're seven years old trying to kiss your own elbow, if you turn it just right, you can almost do it. Almost. All right. Anyway, let's just there's alert. Weather alert. Current location. Flood advisory in your area. Oh, no. Oh, no. Flood advisory. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, we have nine days. What's today? Third. Thursday. So we'll have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what I have is just enough to make it through this next week, but we still want a meal prep so that way we got our act together. Oh, I gotta, <coughs> I'm, I'm getting all my alerts while I'm talking to y'all. Anyway, because it's kind of a little bit later than whenever we usually do this. So all right, shut up, Terry. Let's get on. Let's get on. Let's get it on. Oh, wait, no, wrong song. Ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. All right. Let's get our salad going. And uh, I have not used my pickled veg since I added the hickam, have I? Oh, I need to get my, I need to get my uh, dishwasher going. Hold up. Let's get it on. All right, so you're going to hear that run in the background. Poor Callie, she's not a happy girl. Oh, dang it, I forgot my dressing. Boy, y'all, I'm forgetting everything. Hey, really quick, in case you're new here. My salad dressing, I take the G. Hughes Honey Mustard Dipping Sauce and G. Hughes Polynesian Dipping Sauce, and I put it in here, and then usually what I do, when this is too full, I fill it about halfway with that combination, and the other half is vinegars. And, uh, but then whenever this gets halfway, then I just add vinegars to this. So this is G. Hughes dipping sauce, whatever flavor you like, but they're only five calories. His salad dressings are 60 calories. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, let's see what we got here. So we're going to do our salad. I got to get focused, Terry. Okay, salad. So we got salad. We're going to add in, well, let's put the... Uh, I always build everything for me on the skate, in case you're a new gotcher. I got some new folks. How are you doing, new people? You can put a comment down there saying, newbie, newbie here. If you're a newbie, we like folks around here. We're a happy group of people. We like happy people. Oh, man. You know, one time I had to go to the neighbor to have them open this. This isn't even sealed, y'all. I've been in the same container I use all the times. All of the times. Hold on. I got it. I got it. Yay. Go, Terry. Go, Terry. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Go, Terry. All right. So now, now I've already got on my shopping list, which isn't until the 22nd. But on my shopping list, I've added veggies because obviously I'm, 
I need more veggies. So uh, anyway, so we're not going to load up as much as I usually do. Oh man, onion down, onion down. So I'm saving this sauce for this, I don't know, vinegar mixture. And uh, whenever I, I run out of these veggies, I'll add the new veggies to this vinegar mixture. All right, so there we go. That's our stuff. Now, now what I do, this is my, my dressing that I was just telling y'all about. I put some on there. Y'all don't let me forget to put my seasonings on here. And then this is, I had made some of this before, and I just put it into this kind of little squirty outy because I like the, I just like the flavor of vinegars. I just, I like it. I love it. I sing that song a lot, don't I? But it's because I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I try so hard, but I can't rise above it. Don't know what it is about that little girl's loving. I like it. I love it. Can you tell I had coffee this afternoon? <laughs> well, I can't help it. I needed, I needed that extra caffeine. Okay, okay. No judgment. All right. Okay. All right. So let's get our. I'm gonna add some freeze dried garlic, a little bit of my everything bagel seasoning. I'm gonna add it. Ooh, Terry. I mean, I don't need any more Greek seasoning, but. Hang on. Let me get some more because I got it over there. Hold up. Hold it, Newt. Hold her. I forgot I bought this one. I'm going to put this one down in here. This is the one I got from that store. <laughs> How you like them apples? I got this from that store. But you remember when my sister was in town and we went to that little store here in town and, and I got me some used by January 2025. Oh, bless their hearts. They don't know nothing about me. That'll be going by next week. Uh, but anyway, when my sister was in town and never and and I got the, the vinegar and the what else did I get? I got something else there. Alright. There we go. All aboard the flavor train. Alright. So that's all we're doing for that. I'm pretty sure that's everything. I'll remember if I didn't. I probably won't remember y'all. Um breakfast. I made these up yesterday. I want to try to see if they can last a couple days in the refrigerator. Because it would be really cool if, like, on Sunday, I could maybe make enough for three days. And then on Wednesday, make two or a few more days. So we'll just see how that works. And then weekends, I can just fry it up in my skillet. Um, all right. So, I mean, now, did I already tell you what we're taking? I don't care if I told you or not. Where's my pickle? Oh, we're going to take burger in a bowl. Did I tell you that? Well, I'm telling you now. All right. Oh, man, you know it would be so good. Oh, it was in my previous video. Today, Suzanne and I went to a uh, supervisor meeting for she and I, and we went at Applebee's. I, let me just tell you a thing or two. I have not had it before. I've had the Bourbon Street steak, but never the Bourbon Street chicken. Oh, my stars and garters. It was fabulous. Um... <clears throat> But, I, so what I was thinking is, man, I should saute up some onion and mushrooms. I think I have some frozen, but that's all right. So when I make a burger, you know, think, think burger. This is our burger in a bowl. So think, what kind of things do you add to a burger? Well, I add onions to a burger. And I'm going to actually, I don't want to microwave my onions. What I want to do is I want to put my stuff in here that I would put in the refrigerator. So, you know, I don't, I don't usually have cooked onions. Where's my pen? I don't usually have cooked onions on my burger. That's usually, you know, they have a bunch of sliced red onions out for people. So, I, so I'll add it into here. So, 30 grams, 30 grams of onions. And what else do I put on a burger? Well, I season it. So, we are going to put, Stand a campfire song. Oh, I should have been a cowboy. Oh, did y'all hear that? That's the Lord. He's singing to me. He, he answered me with thunder. He said, you sing, girlfriend. He said, you sing like an angel, Terry Toodaloo. You just keep that up. That was God talking to me. 
I don't know if you heard it, but he sure was. All right. So we add, we season up our meat because you want to season it up just like you would a burger. And now we're going to add a little bit of mustard. If our power goes out tonight, I'm going to be so mad. All right. So a little bit of mustard. <clears throat> now, I also I love ketchup on my burgers. Man, everything's wet tonight. I'm sorry, Callie. Callie don't like that God's talking to us. She don't like that thunder. She's like, guys, thunder is not good, and you should be very afraid. I'm going to do 30. Okay, I'm going to do 39 grams of ketchup. So let me write that down. Man, if the power goes off again, I'll be so mad. Did I say that already? I'm going to say it again. If the power goes off again, I'm going to be so mad. I'll be so mad. All right. So we got some ketchup. And then, oh. And, and, oh, I want to make it kind of like a, you guys, what do you call it? Uh, uh, oh, I'll think of it in a minute. You just give me a minute. Um, a Big Mac. You know, with the Big Mac sauce. So, I want, that's what I'm going to add some Thousand Island in there. So, you just put in here whatever it is you want to put. And just make sure it matches. Make sure it matches your macros. And then, I want a few of these. No sugar added sweet pickles. So give me a minute. I want to get them out in town. Okay. So now we're going to cut up the uh, pickles. And then we're going to add them to our little dealy. So I like, usually I like pickles, you know, like the bigger pickles. Like I put them on my plate whenever I'm out of, at a picnic or something. But, but let me tell you. I don't, I don't have a plate, so I'm putting them in here. And so when I have my burger in my bowl tomorrow, I will just pour this in with my burger. And did I write pickles? Hang on, 63. So tomorrow, I'll just heat up this and then pour this onto it. I kind of feel like I want a little more ketchup. I know, you can judge me. I'm okay with being judged. I ain't a feared. I ain't a feared. I want to do like another serving. All right, there we go. So three servings of ketchup. I ain't a feared of y'all's judgment. Y'all don't stir me. All right, so there we go. So this is what we're having tomorrow. Except I need a lid. I need a lid. I need a lid. Y'all, can you imagine if I was married? And I had caffeine. Don't you know that poor man would be like wanting to get a divorce? <laughs> and I'd say, no, no, sir, you cannot get a divorce. It's forever and ever. No, I wouldn't, because I sure do like the single life. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think. I'd be like, you bet your bippy. Let's just not get married in the first place. All right, so here we go. We got our salad. And we've got our burger, the meat for the burger in the bowl. And then I got my pills for tomorrow. Did I tell you, I forgot to take my pills today. Lord, y'all. I forgot to take them with me. Mm -mm -mm. But I got them whenever I got home. So then this is the toppings for our burger in the bowl. And just because I put them, take it, don't mean I have to use it all. Um, I got to have my spoon. And then my breakfast is my baffles. These, I made these up yesterday. Um, or day before yesterday. So my baffles and my uh, cheese. So that's what I'm taking to work for my breakfast and lunch tomorrow. All right, boy, that was a long time. I sure do talk a lot. But I love you all, and I'll see you later. Bye. Guys, he had himself a lot of shots today. Well, he had one shot, and he don't feel good. He's a Tucker boy. He went to daycare today, and he played a little bit. And he said, did you play with your brother? What about you, stinkers? Did you play with your brother? Did you bite him? Probably so. This one and this one, they kind of don't see eye to eye a lot of times, especially when there's food involved. But big boy here, he had himself a, a steroid shot, and now he's tuckered. He not only went and got to see the peoples and stuff, but he got himself a shot, guys. 
but he's a good boy, so he's he's clocked out for the night. He's 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 clocked out. There's no there's no uh, neighborhood watch tonight. He's he's called in sick. He's on ETO for the night. <laughs> he's gonna leave it up to brother. He's up to big brother. Mwah. He's up to big brother. He's in charge. He's in charge, aren't you, Sammy Joe? Hey, Sammy Joe. Mwah. That's right. Big brother's in charge. He's the head brother in charge for the night. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. Mwah. Bye. We have a toaster at work, and it just so happens to be a four-slot toaster. So I'm toasting my baffles. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. That's my baffles. These got a little... Listen, oh, I'm talking over here. I turned the camera around. This got a little bit dark. It's all right. They don't, they don't get as crispy um, the next day. I don't care about. <clears throat> I tell you all about things like that because some people are texture people. I'm not a texture person. But anyway, so I'd, I'd like you all to at least be aware of that since, you know, since I'm tell, showing y'all what I do. Because um, I don't care if they're, you know, if they're soft. Um, it's more like a, a burned bun. So, but anyway, and they already have the um, everything bagel seasoning in it. I put my, my cheese on it. And it, so it's rutabaga cheese rutabaga eggs and then my spread my cheese spread bye i got you on the right now i got you on the right side earlier i had you on the wrong side i had myself all discombobulated <clears throat> so here is our cabbage salad and y'all know i use cabbage because it lasts a long time i'm trying to like hold my way out so it don't get on my white britches that's a bad thing. You know, I don't know how, I don't re realize how much I wipe my hands on my, on my pants until I wear something like white. And I'm like, huh, then I'm constantly thinking about it. So, all right. Mm -hmm. Dropped a bite on my pants, but it was not, it just bounced. It wasn't anything bad. It didn't leave a stain. All right. <clears throat> now our burger in a bowl. So, I put all that together. Hang on, let me aim it down so you can see. So we got our pickle and ketchup and onions. And... Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, buddy. You know it's good. A burger in a bowl. Bada boom, bada bang. All right, I will see you all at supper. Bye. Hey, it's supper time. Let me show you what I made. I took that salsa verde recipe um, from um, what I made the other day. And um, anyway, so this is, it's like a whole container. You know, you can buy the, the, the yeah, fresh. This is basil, Italian parsley. I don't know, about a, <clears throat> maybe two tablespoons of red wine vinegar and two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, maybe. And then uh, probably about a tablespoon of oil along with five ounces of feta cheese and probably, I don't know, one serving of diced tomatoes, but I strained them because so I wanted some tomatoes in there. So this is going to go on my chicken, but I got to season my chicken. Hang on. Okay, so I put a little bit of salt, not a whole lot, a little bit for me, and uh, I put some salt and I put some of my farm dust on it just to give it that oniony and garlicky flavor. And now we're going to take this salsa verde and plop some right on top of my chicken. A little more. Alrighty. So now, so we're having chicken. We're having blackened salmon because I cooked it too long. And we got green beans and bamboo shoots with um, 
some of the G-Hughes G Hughes teriyaki sauce and the uh, liquid aminos and some sesame seeds on top and some fruit. Now let's give everything a try here, just a second. Okay, so the black, the black and salmon. Um, what I, I bought this new, <clears throat> I bought an oil sprayer. You know I'm very easily influenced. I saw it on a, I saw it on a TikTok. Just, just let me have it. So I bought that, and it has some. Um, what kind of oil is that? Um, um, avocado oil. So I sprayed my chicken with that, and then I put a little bit of lemon pepper and orange pepper, and then some of that tomato bouillon. Oh yeah, that's good. I didn't even add salt. So my calendar. Dear diary, today Terry did not add salt. That's all right. All right, so then over here we got our chicken with our salsa verde. Homemade salsa verde. If you do, if you look in, if you do go into my meat, my Sunday special videos, you'll see where I did, it's a chicken with, with rutabaga and sweet potato and feta salsa verde. Mm -hmm. It's a very bright light flavor. I like that Ben and Green flavor. No. I bought the bamboo shoots. I don't know, a couple trips ago. Just looking for a variety of stuff. So green beans and bamboo shoots with some Asian flavored marinade and sesame seeds. It's steaming. It's going to be hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Whoop. Green bean down. Good thing there's somebody down here to eat it. That would be Sammy Joe. <laughs> All right. That, that, and fruit. I'm hungry. So I'm going to go eat this while I edit my video. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow Saturday. So we'll see what I pull out of the freezer, because I most definitely have to uh, meal prep tomorrow. Here's my macros for the day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you very, very much.